start joining in in your tricks. This is sitting the 145 million years. We are on the hunt for a Brachiosaurus dinosaur and I'm not even kidding. So Emma, how do you feel about your discovery? <laughs> yeah, I remember, they're 145 million years old. That could have been made by anything. Cause, how can they even know that it's 145 million years old? This is why we need off-road tyres. I keep saying, Emma, let's get off-road tyres. She's like, oh no, we don't need them. I think we're going to find a Tyrannosaurus oh, Rex. I'm still looking. I am still looking for one. Welcome to Jurassic Coast. That's really good, but it's not a T-Rex, is it? I think you've conned me. <laughs> I have had a serious tip off uh, from a dinosaur guy, quite a knowledgeable dinosaur guy, that there has been. So basically last night we had a choice whether to stay at Dorset Police Headquarters car park or uh, a military base. That's not weird. Obviously, we chose the army barracks. Welcome back to the Romany Pirates. So here we are at Lulworth Cove. There's lots and lots of different things that you can't do at Lulworth Cove. Um, what can you do? And a lot of dangers as well. There's a lot of dangers. <laughs> it's a very dangerous place to come in at this. First impressions. Um, it's nice. It's very expensive for parking. 15 <laughs> quid. 15 very quid. Expensive. 15 quid to park your car. And no staying overnight. No staying overnight. £2.20 um, for a loaf of bread. Yeah, two, well, no, two thirty. Two thirty for a loaf of bread. So yeah, it's quite expensive. So if you come in, make sure you've got some money. <laughs> but. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very, very nice. Uh, very English tea room slash beach, innit? Yeah. That's a bit of a bad description, <laughs> that, innit? But that's what it is. Look at that. Either somebody's built the most epic tortoise tank ever, or that's really cruel for a rabbit. Welcome to Jurassic Coast. This is where the real fun for the T-Rex begins. doing up a tree in? I'm just admiring the view. <laughs> I thought I'd join in in your tricks. It's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. I'm sat here uh, on Fossil Beach. Uh, Emma's way down there. She uh, she couldn't uh, walk over these uh, big rocks, so she stayed down there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I haven't found any dinosaur fossils. There are some cool formations in the rocks and stuff. But I don't really know what I'm kind of looking for. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so no dinosaur fossils, which is a real shame. Uh, very disappointed with that. However. It is probably the most peaceful spot I think I've ever had the privilege to sit. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try and capture it exactly how it feels on camera, but there's just silence and then the waves sat in the middle of these prehistoric formations in the rocks. It is absolutely 
just beautiful, incredible. So we're going to head back uh, to Emma now, uh, we're going to go check out some of the cool stuff along this uh, area of Jurassic Coast, um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend that you uh, you come down here, it's, it's called Fossil Forest, um, and it's just, it's, it's probably the best place to come on Jurassic Coast for that kind of feeling. <laughs> so I've been trekking all the way over there into the Him Himalayas. <laughs> Emma's sat here with her feet in a pool and there's a fossil by her feet. <laughs> the fossil that Emma's found is that swirly pattern just there. Right by her feet. Can you believe that? Well done Emma. So Emma, how do you feel about your discovery? <laughs> Probably not as excited as you. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my feet in here and I'm going to wash my hair in a minute. So Emma is washing her hair in the uh, prehistoric rock pools. <laughs> You've got to take the opportunity to wash your hair where you can. So I thought we were looking for dinosaur fossils, but actually we weren't looking for dinosaur fossils, we were looking for tree fossils, so that's why I couldn't find a dinosaur. So I'd just like to apologise to everybody, including <laughs> the Jurassic Coast Council, uh, if I made that look like there weren't any fossils there, because it's actually littered with <laughs> fossils millions and millions of years old, so I'm very sorry, but I still want to find a dinosaur. Basically, 145 million years ago, there was a catastrophe, a prehistoric catastrophe, um, where basically the lagoons, the water from the sea, filled up and took over the forest, um, and all the trees got drowned, basically, eventually. And then the round formations that you'll have seen as we're going round, those are where algae formed, um, and basically that was the only thing that could survive in the water. So you can still see a lot of the like tree roots um, in the rock formations. Um, you can see where the kind of limestone has, has eroded over time and sort of ended up making all these layers of rock um, as you, on the cliff face. Um, and you can still see like some of the tree stumps as well. So it's absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, all the footage that you've seen <laughs> that Reese has filmed when he were looking for dinosaur fossils, um, were actually were fossils, but they were tree fossils. So he has got it all. <laughs> it's just he were looking for the wrong thing. <laughs> so this is a tree stump. The tree stumps were actually pickled in the lagoon water, in the salty water. Um, and it was replaced by the mineral silica, I believe you pronounce it. Um, so it's not actually the wood anymore, isn't this, but it is a perfect formation of it. And it's 145 million years old. That's really good, but it's not a T-Rex, is it? No, it's not a T-Rex. I still, we still need to find a T-Rex. That's what you said. She said, let's go to Jurassic Coast. <laughs> there'll be a T-Rex there. We still haven't found one. I think you've conned me. You're not going to find a T-Rex. You've conned you. me into thinking there were a T-Rex roaming about down here. Awful. So that was Fossil Beach. Fabulous. Unbelievable. Oh, you've got to come here, honestly. You've got to it's come here. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's like being in Mediterranean. <laughs> I mean, in, in the height of summer, I bet it's absolutely red hot, but it's not bad today. No, it's, it's still warm, though. It's a real sun trap here. Yeah, it? it's beautiful. It's really nice. You've got to come here. This is definitely a place you've got to definitely. come. Fossil forest. Get it on your come. list. Get it on yeah. your list. So we are now going to head back to the van. We're going to make some tea. Daisy's wandering off behind me, so I'm going to go <laughs> grab her. And uh, yeah, we're going to head to uh, Deadle Door next. So back in the uh, van now, just cooking some tea. We're having a tofu sag with spinach and mushrooms. And leek, I think, are we? Yeah, leek. So that sounds really cool. Say hello, Daisy. Say hello. Look at that, that looks absolutely 
divine some vegan feta cheese on top as well yummy we're off to Daedle Dow. <laughs> it's, it's what you see on um, on Instagram with the like the door, the archway coming out of the sea. Uh, so I'm actually going to go and... Uh, yeah. He thinks we're going to find the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. I'm still looking. I am still looking for one. So I thought I'd just explain a little bit about the parking situation. Um, so it is 15 quid, which is expensive, and you can only park in the day, you can't park overnight any of the car parks around here. Um, but the 15 quid does cover you for all the car parks associated with Lulworth. So that's quite good in a way, because you can sort of go to um, a couple like Lulworth Cove and then up to Dirdle Door. Um, you know, so you can sort of go to a few different places, so that's not too bad. Um, but there is a free place to park. Um, down near Lulworth Cove there is a church and outside the front of that church you can park there and you can park overnight and it's free. But you do have to get there extremely early um, or you're not actually going to get a spot. Get there late at night um, or get there early in the morning. Um, we'll go see what all the uh, fuss of Dirdle is all about. So this is called Manor War Cove, uh, Dirdle Door's just at the other side of that cliff uh, where we've just been, uh, so I'm going to get in uh, the sea, I don't know how cold it is, I uh, imagine it's swimmable but I've got my wetsuit on anyway so check it out and see how it is. So Reese is in uh, in there swimming and he's got more guts than I have because I don't think I'd be getting there in this weather. It's absolutely freezing um, because the sun's gone down now so it's quite cold um, but he's a lot braver than I am. We were just laughing on sort of way down, travelling down here, um, just talking about how when you were kids you used to spend sort of like three hours getting your sandwiches ready to go on a day trip and you'd be getting everything ready like a couple of days before getting packed getting all your sandwich blanket folded up and you know getting yourself ready to set off and getting up at like five o'clock in the morning just to go like 50 minutes down the road and it's laughable really now when you think back so I'm not really sure where I got my bug for traveling because we made such a big deal about going to Mablethorpe or going to Scarborough for a day <laughs> I'm not really sure where I got it from um, but I've always loved to just be free and be on the road um, and I know where he's got it from, he's kind of in his genes, it's in his history, his grandma were a traveller and his great grandma were a traveller and so he's got that you know in him, it's who he is, um, but for me I'm not really sure, um, I've just always felt that need, I've always felt that it's at the core of who I am to just take off, be free, not really plan anything not think about where i'm going um and it is about discovering these beautiful places obviously that's absolutely amazing but it's also just being on the road just the actual part of traveling that i, I just love we both love and it's deeply at the heart of who we are as people was that cold no you're all right <laughs> Mental. So I've just uh, just got out. That wasn't too bad. It was it was cold. The problem with it was really more than the temperature with it. It looked so calm, um, but the undercurrent were really strong. So every time I tried to get out, it was sort of pulling me back a little bit. Nothing drastic. Just you could really feel the power of it. Um, but yeah, that were a nice refreshing swim. I always like to swim like around nature and uh, you'd never ever find me in a swimming bath or a swimming pool same as you'd never ever find me on a campsite but I do like to swim when there's cliffs and or in rivers or whatever there's some really uh, there's some real power and energy when you do that um, that I think you, you sort of carry forward for a few days after really um, so that's why I do it Onto St Edward's Bridge A351, then turn to B3351. Continue on. So I am the navigator, and I will admit that I have not done too well. <laughs> but all the roads.
dogs up here, you can't, they're all like this, all of them. Breathe in, Reese, breathe in. Breathe everything in. Tires. Hold it all in. See, this is why we need off road tires. I keep saying, Emma, let's get off road tires. She's like, oh no, we don't need them. And then she navigates us up. Oh, road. it is really bad. Just off road. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are on the hunt for a Brachiosaurus dinosaur. And I'm not even kidding. There's a, there's footsteps, isn't there? Yeah, there's footsteps. Yeah. There's footsteps of a Brachiosaurus. About 20 minutes up here, they've been spotted. Um, so I know that they're going to definitely be around there and we're definitely going to see a dinosaur. So I'm so excited! Everybody says this is really difficult to find. More or less impossible, it says online. So unless you can't read, I'm not really sure how it's that difficult. It's even got a picture. Oh, Reese, this is ace! Is it? No, it's absolutely rubbish. <laughs> so this is absolutely amazing as far as I'm concerned. Um, these footprints are 145 million years old and were probably left by a Brachiosaurus, which was a really, really big dinosaur. So here they are. Here's one. That's a footprint, right? And here's another footprint there. Can you see that? I'm going to put my foot in the footprint. Look how big that is compared to my foot. Here's another one over here. You see that? Now, now that I've set the tone of the game, you as viewers see how many dinosaur footprints you can spot. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. So Daisy is, oh, she was sat in a does he sit in the 145 million year old <laughs> footprint? Look at look at look at Daisy's footprint compared to the dinosaur footprint. Now that is a cool shot. That deserves a thumbs up. Seriously, like they how, how on earth can they possibly know that they're dinosaur footprints? There is literally nothing to tell you that the dinosaur footprints. They are, Emma. They're 145 million years old. That could have been made by anything. Caused, How can they even know that it's 145 million years caused old? Caused by a Brachiosaurus. I am not buying this whatsoever. The only thing I'm buying is that they're charging £7 for like an hour's parking. I'm not buying no, it no, at but, all. But, but hold your hand up. No, but I have, look, yeah. Look at that, right? She's still got a piece of rock. Yeah, then, of course I have. 145 million years. Because we've been here, so you have to get a piece of rock, don't you? I write on them the day I got them. But don't you find it interesting that these footprints, that them there, no, because I think it's just a load of rubbish. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Look at it. How do you even know that's a di it, It's just a circle. It's a dinosaur footprint and it's amazing. I think that were really, really cool. However, we still haven't seen a real dinosaur, have we? There's a cow over in field, which I'm going to film because it's actually got a baby one with it and it's really cute. But we still haven't seen a full proper dinosaur, have we? No. So why do they call it Jurassic Coast then? <laughs> Answer me that. If you know that in the comments, let me know because I haven't seen a dinosaur and I've seen Jurassic Park. So we are leaving the dinosaur footprints now. Um, if you use your imagination, that's good. I'm just not buying that. Let's agree to disagree. Let us know in the comments what you think, please. Let us know who you agree with. Do you agree with me that they were 145 million year old Brachiosaurus footprints? Or do you agree with Emma that they're probably one and they're probably made by... Uh, a sledgehammer or something along the lines <laughs> of that. Right, let's get back to Roman in the van. So we've come down to Swanage um, for two reasons. One reason, Emma wants some donuts as always. And the second reason is I have had a serious tip off uh, from a dinosaur guy, quite a knowledgeable dinosaur guy, that there has been a T-Rex uh, seen in the area. So. Um, and the guy seems quite genuine as well, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna basically check that out and uh, and see if he's right. Emma, I've got one. 